Hey everybody, it's Rudy Rodriguez Showmott here with another edition of Rudy's Rants from Come On Now, the podcast. I have some thoughts and I want to give them to you because that's who I am and that's how I roll. The Los Angeles Lakers. Can we stop talking about the Lakers like they're actually a contender? They are not. Why is this becoming, why is this the daily conversation every single day? The other day, Charles Barkley said what many people think, but yet for some reason, oh, we know the reason, the networks have to push the Laker agenda because LeBron James is still the face of the league. And the Lakers agenda means viewers because, yes, Lakers, there are lots and lots of Lakers fans. But here's the reality. The Lakers are the 10 seed as of today, March 3rd, 2024. At best, the Lakers will probably be no better than the 7 seed. At best. They are behind the Mavericks by two and a half games. I'm sorry, the Mavs by a game and a half at the 8 seed. They're behind the Kings at the 7 seed at two and a half games. They're tied with the Warriors, but behind them in percentage points. So the Warriors are the 9, and the Lakers are the 10. And this kind of goes hand-in-hand with the Warriors as well, but the Lakers get this extra-level push because LeBron James is on their team. And I recently heard them say to Charles Barkley, well, what if Tom Brady was on a playing team or a wild-card team? Well, You got a point, but let's be real. We're not talking about winning a game. We're talking about winning the championship. The Lakers are not going to win a championship. The Lakers cannot beat the Denver Nuggets, period. The Lakers in a seven-game series probably will not beat the Timberwolves, the Thunder, the Clippers in a seven-game series. They just won't. But you guys have this love affair with this franchise, with this one player who's magically going to erase a season of failure outside of November and December when they won the NBA Cup. Woohoo! NBA Cup champions who are the 10 seed, which is why the NBA Cup thing was an absolute flipping joke because your winner is a 10 seed. Your winner is actually, if you want to be literal, the 17th best team in the NBA right now. <clears throat> I'm looking at the screen right now with um, the standings. The Lakers would be the nine seed in the East. So the, the, the 10 in the West, they would be the nine seed in the East. They are the 17th best team in the league, which means they're on the bottom half. Of the league. They're in the bottom half. Yet you keep pushing a narrative that in a seven game series, man, no, they cannot beat the Nuggets. They cannot beat the Timberwolves. They cannot beat the Clippers. If you want to be actually truthful about what happened last year, it's very simple. The Lakers got lucky. <clears throat> Excuse me. Lakers got lucky because last year in the Lakers playoff run, Let's take a look again. Let's remind ourselves what actually happened. Okay. Uh, Let's see. 2023. I'm pulling this up just so I can read it off. Postseason. They played Memphis in the first round. What happened with Memphis? They won that series four to two. John Morant got hurt, if you recall. You know who also was missing from that series? Steven Adams. So the real only big guy on on the Memphis Grizzlies was Steven Adams. And he missed the series. He wasn't playing. That's a huge, huge thing for the Memphis Grizzlies. And then having Morant get hurt in that series didn't help. So you catch a break. And you don't get Memphis at full strength. That's basketball, right? That's sport. That's how it rolls. So you get a guy who's, you get a team at not full strength. You get them minus their their best big man who can physically help them in the paint, get rebounds, etc. 
and you win that series. Now you have Golden State. They win that series. Um, you know, they won that series. I give it to them. But is this the Golden State team that won championships? And let's be real. Golden State won an upset <laughs> because Golden State shouldn't have been there either. Who did Golden State play again? Let's take a look at who Golden State played again. Let me, let me refresh my memory here. And I apologize. I'm going to look this up real quick. Golden State, they played Sacramento. Yeah. They went, they were, they fell, they lost the first two, won the next three, lost game uh six, and then and then the the the, the Kings blew it at home in game seven. Realistically, the Kings were the better team. They should have won that series. Warriors pulled an upset. The Kings win that series as they're supposed to. Do the King do the do the Lakers beat the Kings? I don't know. I don't think so. Now you want to call me a Laker hater? Go ahead. Do I like the Lakers? No. Which is also why the nonstop talk about the Lakers drives me freaking crazy. So, and then of course, in the final series, they get swept by the Denver Nuggets. And what do you get to listen to from people? Oh, it was a close sweep. What are you talking about? It's a sweep. So there's no such thing as a close sweep. Because the, the scores weren't 20 point blowouts. Is that what we do now? Do we, we, we live on moral victories and say, oh, you know, we, we, we had a, the games were close. Okay, so if you lose four games by one point, you still lost four games. Does it matter? So when I hear the nonstop yakking about Lakers can do this, no, the Lakers can't. If the Lakers could do this, then the Lakers would be doing this all season long. And they're not because they can't. And then I hear the, the argument of rest. Rest? They get more rest in the regular they get more rest in the regular season than they get in the playoffs. So can we stop with the, they're gonna get rest? They're not gonna get rest. You might have two games between games, two days between games, maybe three. That happens in the regular season. So let's stop the noise. The Golden State Warriors, the Lakers, are not going anywhere. They're not good. They're not good. And you guys can keep pushing whatever you want to push to keep the Lakers fans watching TV and pray to God that if you could get a, I mean, ESPN's dream is, or ABC's dream is a Lakers versus Lakers in the finals. That's their dream. That's the dream series. Lakers versus Lakers. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. So I feel Charles Barkley because it's exhausting listening to this nonstop Lakers, Lakers, Lakers. They're not good. They're barely a 500 team. They're five games above 500. They're the 10 seed. Stop the bullshit. They're not going anywhere. I'm so sorry, LeBron fans, but your king is not going anywhere. And if they come back and show me some miracle, show some miracle and get, to, they're not even getting to the Western Conference Finals, let alone playing for a championship. Don't know if you've been watching. Did you watch last night's game against the Nuggets? Did you watch the game? The Lakers played pretty damn well and lost by 10 on their home floor. In a game they led by one with about six minutes to go. While they pose and strut, after they make every single shot. Not to mention, where did this come from? Where every time I make a shot, I do this. Bro, what are you talking? Like, you made a shot. Like, when do we just run back and play defense? Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Defense doesn't exist in basketball anymore. But, yeah, man, I don't want to hear it. If you think the Lakers are going to the finals, I'd love to hear your comments. You can tell me I'm an ass. I don't give a shit. But Lakers ain't going anywhere. So, Lakers fans, LeBron fans, kick rocks. Because you will be watched from the couch by round two at best. Because if the Lakers don't get past being a 10 seed, they might lose to the 9 seed and not make the playoffs at all. God, that would be beautiful. Like, follow, subscribe, comment. Keep following us. Keep supporting. 
Come on now. Let's go.